Hello, everyone. Uh, happy Wednesday. It is another absolutely beautiful day outside. I hope that you all get to go outside and enjoy some of the weather. Today um, is Coding with Captain. So we're going to spend a half hour working on some scratch. And then we are going to um, go outside and uh, enjoy some of the weather. Oh. My dog came to say hello. Hello, Mac. Okay, so today we are going to um, we are going to uh, program a story. Now we've done this in Scratch a whole number of times. You make little uh, sprites that come around and they talk to each other. Today we're going to do it uh, in a much more exciting way. So I am really uh, excited to show you uh, some of the. Uh, invisible things that Scratch has um, that maybe you didn't know about. All right, let's see who we have today. Amelia. Amelia says, outside is boring. Ugh. Well, what can I say? Maybe you can take your Chromebook or laptop outside, Amelia, and you can do some Scratch programming outside. That would be fun. Chloe, hello. And hello, Tucker. Good to see you guys with us again. All right, so coding. Um, oh, also, just to let you know, I had some uh, emails sent in to me. I handed out some uh, passwords and stuff like that. So um, I have all of your password cards right here. If you can't remember your Scratch logon, then you can email me my email is right here, uh, rincorvia at answercharterschool.org. And you email me and I will grab your card and I will look up your username and password for Scratch and I will help you get on. Hello, Sky. good to see you. Your parents would never let you go outside and code. Well, you can code inside and then you can go outside and uh, do something else that your parents will let you do, okay? Okay, so I have your Scratch passwords. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Kaylin. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Look. So this is a picture that Kaylin sent me from last week. There I am on the background coding our awesome turtle. And, um, and there she is working on her Chromebook. So that is super, look at that shot. It is a good reminder to go to mrincorvia.com and check out all the cool science and coding stuff that's available for you guys. So thank you for sending the pictures in. I want you guys to do that. Take some pictures of you working, <clears throat> whether it's your science projects, whether it's some coding, whether it, or you playing Minecraft. Take some pictures, send it in. I will share it on the stream. Um, also, like, today's uh, scratch program make sure that you uh, you share the program I, today I will show you how to share the program okay and you email it to me and I will show your scratch program that you coded on the stream okay okay guys cool let's get into it remember today we are programming a story specifically today a story that we can hear all right we're gonna start off by doing something really similar that you all have done many times for me in my class. And you will, uh, but we'll make it way better because we'll be able to hear it today, okay? All right, here we go. Okay, we'll start by going to mrincorvia.com. Um, and here is where you clicked on the live streaming to get to this show. But down here is the more classic Mr. Incorvia we all remember. We're going to click on code. All right. And then here is the log into Scratch. All right. Uh, that is, if you don't have your login, 
you can email me and I will send you your password, okay? Mason are collecting tons of stone and dirt trying to fix the server. I will have to see what happened. Okay, I'm, I have no, I haven't logged in last time, so happy to see. All right, back to coding. Scratch examples. So here is my scratch examples page. On the right side of the page right over here, you can see it says coding with Captain Videos. That's this show right now, guys. This one right now. And um, here are some of the videos and the blocks <clears throat> that I coded on this show. So you can watch the video again and you can play around with the blocks that I coded. You make it your own. All right, good way to learn. Right now we're gonna click log into Scratch. We're gonna start something new today, okay? So here we go. There we go. Okay, so we are on Scratch right now. You can see that I have logged in to Mr. my Mr. Incorvia account, and we are going to make a little story. So, um, let's use our Mr. Cat here, and we're going to we're going to basically have him uh, tell the story of a cat. Um, what does the cat want, guys? Tell me right now. What does what does the cat want? What do cats want? Maybe cats want milk. Or cats want fish. What does our cat want today? Where's where is he? He's going to go out of his house to to find something. What should he find? What do you think? Let's see what our chat says. Uh, Stella is here. Hello, Stella. And Pug King. Who is Pug King? <laughs> I want to know who is Pug King. That is a good name. Okay, guys, we're looking for what does our cat want in our story today? Hi, Chloe. Okay, well, if we don't have any suggestions, I'm going to think. We're going to say milk because cats like milk a lot. But if you have a better suggestion, we can change it uh, immediately. Okay? So... What are we gonna do? We're gonna want our cat here to um, to go to the store. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna to wanna to move our cat into position. We're gonna to want to have him start down here and then he's going to walk across the screen and go somewhere else, okay? Let us, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make that happen. We want him to appear when we click start, when we click the go button, the cat goes to where we want so that the story can start from the same spot every single time. We're gonna click on our events and we're going to click on when green flag clicked, when go is clicked. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make him move. So here he is, he could be anywhere on the screen. We want him to go to the same spot every single time. Cat drinking milk. Okay, Chloe. So. What we're going to do is we're going to click on the motion and we're going to grab this go to X coordinate and Y coordinate. Okay. These numbers change as we move our cat around. See, take a look right here. See this block right now it says 48, 115. But if we move him, those numbers change minus 138 and 19. Okay. So we can move it, we want, we're gonna move it to the spot exactly where we want, right there. Maybe a little higher. There we go, there's our cat. So here is the position we want. We want him to go to negative 182 X and the Y value is negative 130. If you're like, Captain, what do those numbers mean? Don't worry about it. Just know that these numbers represent that this is the starting position for the cat. We put the cat there, and then we just grab the go to block and snap it under there. Now, whenever our cat is, when we click the go button, click, he goes right to where we want him to start. Okay? Stella says, I wish that I was a pug. Stella, pugs are super cute and adorable, and they are very, I have, I, 
my puck is very high energy and let me tell you that it seems very tiring being a pug so um i think that you being stella is pretty good um maybe if you could be a pug for a little bit that would be fun okay we have our cat in place and we want him to say i want to go get some milk so how do we do that we're going to click on looks now a lot of times people say uh i can't find the say under sound and that makes a lot of sense because sound has to do with things we hear and we're thinking that the cat is saying something, but really the cat is just putting up some text that we can read. So it's under looks because we read with their eyes. So let's click this button. We're gonna grab this block that says hello. We're gonna change this to, I want to get some milk, all right? Let's give it a try. We'll put our cat over there. We'll see if he still goes back down to the corner and says what we want. Three, two, one, go. I want to get some milk. Perfect. Now let's have our cat go on a little journey for the milk. So we're gonna go to motion. We're gonna grab this glide. So this will make the, the cat go to where we want him to go. And what we want, where we want him to go is to this other part of the screen over here, right there. Like he's walking off the screen, right? Like, like, oh, he's walking out the door. There he goes. So that's a pretty good position. Let's get rid of this glide block. You can see that the numbers changed. The cat is no longer at um, negative 182, negative 130. And now it is at 242, negative 129 so let's click i want to get some milk and then zoop, there he goes that was a little fast let's if we increase the amount of time it takes for them to glide it'll take longer instead of one second to go all the way across the screen it'll take three seconds if we made it even higher it would take longer like maybe 60 it would take 60 seconds for him to go all the way across oh let's just do it to three Press go. I want to get some milk. And there goes our cat. Okay. This is kind of like the start of a story. We've done this a whole number of times, right? Now I want to show you a new secret thing that I just learned about like three days ago. I was looking for some of the camera controls. And I found these cool new blocks that I want to show you today. Okay. First, I'm gonna to have to move my picture. So let me just grab myself and move myself. Let's put myself over here for now. Okay. Okay, <laughs> now let's go. Um, here we are. So what we wanna do is we want to grab some new blocks. Hi, Turner. <laughs> Sup, man. You're late, that's okay. We are making some stories that we can hear today, okay? So this is what we have so far. The cat just says, I wanna get some milk. And there goes the cat on an adventure to get some milk. But we want to make it a little, we're gonna use some cool new blocks. So in the bottom left right here, not where it says my blocks, below that, all the way in the corner, there's this blue button that says add extension. Some of you have played around with these before, but many of you have never seen this before. Click this add extension in the lower left. And that brings up a whole new window. All our blocks are still there, don't worry. The one we're gonna work with today, and these are fun. You should check those out. If you have a makey makey, a micro bit, you can connect them right to the scratch program. There's music blocks, drawing blocks, video blocks. We're gonna do a video one in the future. But today we're gonna to click on text to speech make your projects talk so that's what we're gonna do so click on this text to speech okay here we go so this gives us some special blocks and you can see there's a new section down here it says text to speech all right so what we're gonna do is we're going to swap out this say i want to get some milk block this is part of our story right now. We're just, we'll keep it. We'll just put it over there for now. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab 
um, this speak voice and we're gonna put it in there instead of the I want to get some milk and we're going to type in here um, I want to get some milk all right now it's not gonna be perfect right now it's gonna move around the timing will be off but listen to this I want to get some milk right Turner says he has to go bye bye mr. Turner I'm glad that you could join us for those three seconds you were here today <laughs> hi Ava hello all right, so let's hear that again. I want to get some milk. Isn't that amazing? So instead of just popping up and saying, I want to get some milk, it says it. And there's all kinds of funny voices we can use. We grab this block that says set voice and we can change, if we put it before what it says, we can change the voice. So right now it's at alto. We can change it to tenor, which is a little lower. It's going to sound more like a boy now. I want to get some milk. Oh. Let's try the next one. Squeak. I want to get some milk. Oh, my goodness. That's like a little kid. Giant. I want to get some milk. <laughs> I want to hear that one again. I want to get some milk. I want to get some milk. That's like if you had a really, really big cat. Yes. Oh, Tucker has to go. Turner. Oh. Okay. Bye, Tucker. Hello, Turner. <laughs> and then kitten. This one is very funny. What does a kitten sound like? Meow, 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 meow. What was that? Hear that again. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> what? What is that? Meow, 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 meow. It's like it says every syllable is meow instead of I want to get some milk. It's meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Yeah, it's super cool. Turner, I didn't see. This is this is only like the second time I've ever played around with this. So this is, a, this is a cool new thing for me too, okay? So um, since we want to be able to understand our, our cat, we're going to change it back to alto. I want to get some milk. I want to get some milk. Okay, there, he, there it goes, slides off the screen. So let's, let's, have, let's have a backdrop here. Let's pick a backdrop. Let's say our cat is... Um, well, let's say he or she is in their, in their house. So here we go, bedroom two, I like that. Okay, so we're going to just build a switch backdrop to backdrop one on the green button. I want to get some milk. Why did that not happen? Why did that not happen? Backdrop three. Oh, okay. Get rid of these guys. There we go. Switch backdrop. Let's rename this backdrop real quick. Okay, house. Okay, switch backdrop to house. I want there we to go. get some milk. So there you go. So he wants to get some milk, slides off the screen. And then what we'll do is we will say uh, when he gets to the end, we're going to have him um, go to over on this side. No, first thing we want to do is change the background. So let's say he's showed up at um, where is the voice command? Okay, so where is it? Down here on the lower left, there is these little blocks. These are the add-ons. So take a look again, it's in the lower, I don't know if I'm pointing in the right way, but <laughs> lower left, it says add extension right down here. Click that add extension blue button and then there's the text to speech right there, okay? Okay, um, <clears throat> the 
the Falcon 9 launch just went live. Wow. <laughs> I'll have to check that out. I really love space travel. Okay, so here we go. What do we have? Um, we want to change the backdrop so that it looks like the cat has gone to a new place. So let's add a new backdrop. And we'll look for some kind of like a store. Um, there's urban. That looks kind of like a store, not the inside of a store. We'll have to do with the outside of the store. Is there an inside? Let me see. Maybe I would have to draw it. I don't want to spend the time on picking backgrounds right now. So let's do this urban. It will be it looks like the outside of the store. We'll say that the store is closed, right? He'll find that the store is closed. So we're going to grab our cat. We'll move him to this side of the screen as if he's coming. So he like walked off one side of the screen. He's coming on to the other side of the screen, right? So let's grab a go to, oh wait, we need to change the backdrop. So um, switch backdrop to urban and then go to here. And then we will have him glide to over here. Um, not glide to random position, glide to right there. Okay, let's see how it works. I want to get some milk. I want to get some milk. And then off he goes. He's at the store. Oh, <clears throat> there he is. And let us have a new character. The store owner is going to be a bear. Yes, the bear. The bear is the store owner. And we are going to pick this costume. He's a big, ferocious looking bear. And let us, can we flip them around? Flip horizontally, there we go. And this bear is a little big, so let's scale him down to say 60%, there we go. Okay, here's our bear. And when the bear gets the, when, so after here, we're going to want him, we're gonna broadcast a message this is getting a little more advanced now. So this is for our more experienced scratch coders now, the second part. Um, we're going to uh, do broadcast a message. And the message will, we will call this message um, at the store. Okay, so it broadcasts the message at the store. It's a invisible broadcast that we can send to another sprite. So here's bear and we're going to grab the when I receive at the store. The bear is going to say, let's go back to our new blocks, the text to speech blocks. Now we need and we were we're going to put the speak block here. We're going to say hello cat Our store is closed. Okay. Let's see. Now there's going to be a problem with this. I want you to listen carefully and think. The bear is going to be talking to the cat at one point. Ready? So here we go. I want to get some milk. Well, already I see a problem. Hello, cat. Our store is closed. Okay. So two problems I saw. What was the first problem, guys? Did you say that the bear was in the cat's bedroom? You were right. The bear was inside the cat's bedroom. That's not what we want. So we need to start our bear hidden. So let's go and grab a when green flag clicked. He is going to be hide, we're gonna hide him, okay? And then when I receive at the store, we're gonna click show. Okay, see? So when green flag clicked, hide the bear. But when we get at the store, show him and then say, hello cat, our store is closed. So let's listen now. That should fix the first problem. Let's listen for the next problem. I want to get some milk. Go cat, go. Hello cat, our store is closed. Okay, so 
the bear shows up and he says hello cat our store is closed but the problem is that he has the same voice as the cat we can't tell the difference so let's change it we're going to click on text to speech again we're going to grab this set voice to block and we're going to change it to let's do giant that really low gravelly voice that maybe a bear has right and we're going to put it before our speaking block let's try it from the top ready go i want to get some milk hello cat our store is closed <laughs> okay all right let's see what we got here uh amelia says she made it say oh god help me i'm dumb oh well this cat you know he's only going to be as smart as we program him to be right um Turner says this this emoji is called the elbow cough. And I am totally completely true. Yes. <coughs> the elbow cough emoji. Smart. Uh okay. Stella says she needs help. Stella, we have a little bit of time for a question. What is your question? I'm gonna save the project while we're doing that. Okay, another and while Stella is typing her question. I'm going to show you one last thing. Up here is the share button. If you want to send this to Captain, if you make your own story with uh, audio, let's listen to it one more time. I want to get some milk. Hello, Cat. Our store is closed. Oh, I love this story. Okay. If you make your own story and you want to share it with Captain, and then I can share it with everybody on the stream. You need to click this, you need to sign in, make sure you're signed in in this upper right hand corner, have your password so that you can sign in. Then make your program, click this orange share button. Okay, it'll say share. Then you can click the, and then it'll, this will pop up. You need to fill this in. Uh, we're gonna have the title, we're gonna call it cat goes to the store. Okay, uh, and then some instructions. Just click the green flag and listen. And then notes and credits. Um, this is an example on how to use text to speech blocks. Okay. Now this, you grab this up top here. This is the URL like mrincorvia.com and you copy this and paste it into an email to my email address. Okay. Stella asks, how do you change the background? All right, Stella. What I did was, um, first I set the background to my original one. Um, you click the back drops over here on the right. Oh, maybe you can't see because my picture is in the way. I'm going to grab my picture, move myself whoa, to the other side of the screen. Okay, Stella, you click over here on the right side and you can pick any backdrop that you want. Uh, you can then just like going to costumes up here, you can pick which one you want to use. Then you use the look blocks switch backdrops to trigger the changes. So you can see here I have a switch backdrop block right here when he goes off the side of the screen. And then under the bear, uh, nope, not under the bear. So I just have it uh, switch backdrop to urban. There we go. And then I guess this one is switch backdrop to house. I have this block underneath the, the backdrops. So that's how you do it. You add the backdrops, pick the ones you want, and then use the, the switch backdrop blocks under looks, okay? Switch backdrops under looks. Okay. Okay, so um, that is the time I have today. Make sure you share your projects with me. Click that share seed project page. Send me this URL right here. 
okay? You can send it to my email address right here, rincorvia at answercharterschool.org, and I will share it on the, um, on the broadcast, okay? I really wanna see and listen to your stories. I hope that you had a good time today. Um, go to www.mrincorvia.com and you are going to then um, be able to go, let's see, here under coding, you will click on code, you can click on scratch examples and I will put cat goes to the store right here. I'll put the blocks up and uh, in today's video. That will go up in like, you know, give me 15 minutes to put it up there. Uh, and you can then copy my blocks and make it your own, okay? You're gonna have to rewatch this. Yes, Turner, that is an awesome idea. Um, that's why I put the videos up on my website so you can watch them again and you can pause and rewind and figure out what's going on in your own, okay? Okay, guys, um, I have another crew meeting to go to right now online, so I have to go, but it's super great hanging out with you. I miss you all. I hope that you are having a wonderful Wednesday. Tomorrow at 1 o'clock, we are going to have... Um, Tomorrow at one o'clock, we are going to have, uh, what is it? Oh, Answer Plays Minecraft. So that is gonna be super exciting. Apparently there has been a lot of activity on the, on the server. So uh, I'm interested to see what is that, what that is all about. So go to mrincorby.com, check out the Minecraft server info to figure out how to join. Um, and if you can't get on because our server is full during the stream, you can always watch with us and uh, chat with me. I'll take your questions and, um, and, and, and requests, okay? All right. Take care, guys. It's been super hanging out with you. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And a reminder that at 2 o'clock today, Art with Anne is on at her website. So check it out. Okay. Bye-bye, guys. See you later.